again tomorrow night at 7 here in Newark. So both teams hoping to finish their season on a high note at the expense of the opposition. One bright spot for Delaware over the last 13 games has been Thanasis Ante Tecumpo. He's gone into double figures in 12 of those games, averaging 16 and a half points and five and a half rebounds in that stretch. And part of the reason Ante Tecumpo has been scoring more, he's been hitting more from outside. T 21 of 47 from three point range in that stretch. That is 45%. And you've got to think NBA teams are going to take notice come draft time. Thanasis, one of three different players on the sevens who will be going through the draft process this summer. So Ante DeCumpo has been playing well for the sevens. One guy hoping to step it up a little bit here tonight is Tiny Gallon. He's tied for 15th in the league in scoring. Still hot in the month of March, averaging more than 21 points and about nine rebounds per game. He's gone over the 20 point mark in 12 of his last 19 games, but not in the last two. He's slowed down just a little bit and uh, Tiny has got those lime green sneakers back on tonight. He had switched to the red and he said, you know what? They're not getting the job done. So he's back to those lime green sneakers that he was wearing when he was absolutely on fire a few, or maybe about two weeks back. So Tiny hoping to turn things back around here tonight and finish this season on a high note as well. Meanwhile, on the Springfield side, a couple of familiar faces. Khalif Wyatt played his college ball at Temple. He played in the summer league for the Sixers over the past offseason. It was actually with the Sixers briefly this fall, though he didn't suit up and get into a game with uh, Philadelphia. He was off to China from October to January. Now he's back in the D-League with Springfield, averaging more than 16 points per game. So familiar face for a lot of the fans here tonight. And Lorenzo Brown as well, who played quite a bit with the Sevens earlier this season. Overall in the season, he's averaging about 17 points per game. But with Springfield, it's 11 and a half points and four and a half assists per game. So he's cooled off a bit with Springfield here late in the year. But still a familiar face that Delaware will have to keep an eye on here tonight and hope to slow down. Meanwhile, Devin Ebanks, back of the active roster for the Armor after a five-game suspension. He's averaging about 21 points and five rebounds per game with Springfield overall on the year averaging 23 points and eight rebounds per game. The former West Virginia Mountaineers had a strong season. He's also got NBA experience, so he's someone the Sevens will have to be aware of here tonight, eligible to get back out there after serving a five-game suspension for the Armor, who come in coached by Doug Overton. The Sevens, of course, coached by Rod Baker, who you'll hear from in just a couple of minutes. Well, the starting lineups and the tip in about eight minutes, but coming up next, you'll hear from Sevens head coach Rod Baker as the Sevens get set to take on the Armor here on the Sevens Radio Network. All right, so this will be a one-minute break, and then I'll play the interview from here. Thanks. Got it.
Tonight, the Delaware 87ers welcome in the Springfield Armor with just two games left in the regular season. Both teams out of playoff contention, but trying to finish the season on a high note. Hello, everyone, and welcome into the Bob Carpenter Center. I'm Ryan Messick, bringing you all the action here tonight. One of the bright spots for the 87ers has been the play of Thanasis Ante Kumpo. Over his last 11 games, he is averaging 16 and a half points per game. A lot of that because of his outside shot. He's hitting 45% of his threes over that stretch of games. Ante Kumpo has been on fire. Head coach Rod Baker says that's given him more confidence to pull the trigger from long range. Meanwhile, Tony Allen trying to get back on fire, still averaging over 20 points per game in the month of March. He's pulled a little over the last year. So Tony Allen went back to those lime green sneakers that were so lucky for him in that stretch where he was absolutely on fire. He's hoping that'll get him going again here tonight. Meanwhile, some familiar faces on the infield side. Khalif Wyatt, one of them. He was the A-10 Player of the Year last year for Temple. Welcome back inside the Bob Carpenter Center. Ryan Messick with you as the Sevens get set to take on the armor here tonight. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First for the 87ers in the backcourt, it'll be Josh Akoyan and Thanasis Ante Tecumpo, the two forward spots manned by Damian Saunders and Rodney Williams. And Tiny Gallon is getting the start at center. Meanwhile, on the Springfield side, Bruce Massey and Larry Anderson in the backcourt. In the frontcourt, it'll be Adonis Thomas and Khalif Wyatt. And at center, it'll be Jeff Foote. The Sevens wearing special green jersey tonight in honor of the Christiana Care Neonatal ICU Initiative. Jerseys will be auctioned off in a silent auction with proceeds benefiting that neonatal ICU. And Springfield in its road blacks with red letters and gray numbers. The officials tonight are Lauren Holtkamp, Josu Needs, and Jason Goldenberg. Damian Saunders will jump it up against Foote, who is seven feet tall. Saunders, six foot eight. So size edge goes to Springfield on this one. The green jerseys of the sevens, a little darker than those lime green jerseys they wore earlier this year. They resemble the, resemble the colors of the Celtics. Tip won by the sevens, Rodney Williams controls, and he hands it off uh, to B.J. Young, who's making the start in place of Josh Coyne, as was announced. And now it comes back out top to Gallon. 
On to the left wing for Ante De Kumpo. He drives to the free throw line, hangs, puts up an off balance shot, no good, and foot grabs the rebound. And goes the other way with a pass ahead on the right wing for Anderson. Leaves it off out top for Khalif Wyatt, former Temple Al, drives, dishes the foot right of the lane, gets stuck underneath. And he swings it out, nearly out of bounds, and it is as Wyatt steps on the line. And that ball is headed back to Delaware. They'll inbound to the backcourt. Sevens come in at 12 and 36 on the year. They've lost their last three. B.J. Young carries into the front court. He's averaging about 17 points and four rebounds with the sevens. Swings to Saunders out top. It's a cutting Rodney Williams. Whistle and a foul. Shot is up. Will not count. That foul goes against the armor on Khalif Wyatt. That is the first on Wyatt. It's on the floor, so Delaware will inbound in the front court. Ante DeCumpo to bring it in. Bounces in for Tiny Gallon to the right elbow. Tiny holding off his right hip, hands off to Young around a screen to the free throw line, bounces it out left side for Rodney Williams. Swings a pass to the right wing for Gallon, sizing up foot, trying to take him off the dribble into the lane, pro hop, shot is up, count it and a foul. Tiny Gallon strikes first, two nothing Delaware. And Gallon going to the line looking for one more after the foul on foot. It's the first in the seven footer from Lockwood, New York. So Tiny to the line, he's averaging about 19 points and nine rebounds on the season. Those numbers a touch higher in March, about 21 points a game this month. Gallon tied for 15th in the league in scoring. So Gallon at the stripe, puts it up and gets it to go. Gallon 70% for the stripe on the year. It's 3-0 Delaware, 11.05 left here in the first quarter. It's Bruce Massey taking it to the left end. The six foot three guard from Germantown, Maryland swings onto the left wing for Anderson. He's marked by Saunders. Waist high dribble, directing traffic with the right. Swings it out top for Massey. He drives toward the lane, passes tipped out of bounds off the hands of foot and going back to Delaware. So it'll be Delaware ball in the backcourt. 10.47 left to play in the first quarter. Sevens on top of the armor, three nothing. BJ Young. Dribbles into the front court. Bounces to Saunders, right wing. Damian swings left side for Rodney Williams. He gives it off to Ante DeCumpo beyond the arc. Lofts a pass to Tiny Gallon beyond the left wing arc. He drives on foot, gets inside, lays it up and in. 5 nothing Delaware. Tiny Gallon doing all the scoring. 10-23 left here in the first quarter as the armor go back to work in the left end. It's Wyatt out top. He drives down the right side of the paint, puts it up, no good. Foot the rebound, stick back, no good. And a whistle and a foul off the rebound. That one is going to go on Tiny Gallon. It's his first as he shoved an armor player out of the way. And Springfield will inbound on the far side. It's Anderson inbounding. Gets it in out top to Massey. Dribbling beyond the arc. Now swings a pass around for Anderson onto the right wing. Wyatt launches a three and connects. Khalif Wyatt hitting 40% of his threes in the D-League. Hits one there, it's 5-3, Delaware over Springfield. 9.55 left in the first quarter. Saunders drives down the left shoot, a lefty floater is no good, and it is out of bounds. And it was last touched, they say, by Delaware, much to the chagrin of Tiny Gallon. And Springfield gets control. Head of the pack, looking for foot, it's stolen by Gallon. And now he takes it to the right end, the big man dribbling it forward himself on the high right side. Bounces to a cutting B.J. Young. He goes up, slams it, and a foul. Tiny Gallon distributing from beyond the arc, hitting the cutting Young. Normally, it'd be the other way around. And Young goes to the line, looking for a three-point play after the foul on Massey. B.J. Young, 54% from the stripe so far this year with Delaware, 63% overall. Get this, this one to go. Sevens have an 8-3 lead. And give Gallon the assist, so Tiny's either scored or assisted every sevens field goal here tonight. Cutting Adonis Thomas takes a pass in the lane. He goes up, swatted from behind by Andy DeCumpo. Ball saved in by Saunders. He finds Young, who takes it to the right end. Young out top, drives, now turned back, bounces out top for Gallon. He bounces to a cutting Andy DeCumpo, nearly stolen, but a whistle, and I believe a kick ball. And Delaware will inbound to the near side. It is a kick ball. 8-3, Delaware the lead. Ante DeCumpo will inbound. And he swings it in for Young on the right wing. Young curls, drives into the lane, kick out left side. Williams, once a three, got it. 11-3, Delaware leads, 9.04 left here in the first quarter. Quickly the other way, Wyatt on the left wing, marked by Saunders. Couple of pump fakes. 
Now another pump fake drives, bounces into the lane for foot, and the big man throws down with two hands. 11 to five, Delaware's lead is six. 8.50 left here in the first quarter. Damian Saunders carrying forward for the sevens. Directing traffic with a right. Now pass goes over to Young. He drives, crossover into the lane, goes up, lays it up and in. BJ Young finishing tough inside. 13 to five, Delaware over Springfield. 8.33 left first quarter is why it goes the other way. Dribbles onto the right wing. Now switches, drives the left hand, kick out top. Massey steps inside the arc, triggers along two, no good. Whistle, foul, fighting for the rebound. I believe will go against Dante DeCumpo, and it does. That's his first as he pulled the big seven footer, Jeff Foote, out of the way. And that gives the ball to Springfield to inbound on the near side. 13 to five, Delaware, 8.23 left to play first quarter. Wyatt takes the feed, swings to the right side for Larry Anderson, a six foot five guard. Gets it down low, foot right baseline, bodying his way down low, puts it up, no good. Rebound tips, Tiny Gallon gets it, pivots, and now he'll dribble forward himself. Gallon into the front court, left-handed dribble, driving down into the lane, bodied by foot, but it's a charge. And now it'll be the second on Tiny Gallon here in the first four minutes of play. 8.05 left to play first quarter, it's 13-5. Delaware over Springfield as Michael Lee checks into the game for B.J. Young. Interesting lineup here for the sevens as Norvell Pell also getting set to check in and he'll take the spot of Tiny Gallon. So now a lineup with no true point guard with Josh Coyne and B.J. Young on the bench. Best ball handlers on the floor would be Davian Saunders and Rodney Williams and that's his Ante DeCumpo all forwards or swing men depending on how you want to look at a very, a very tall lineup on the floor in the backcourt at least for Delaware. Okay? Ball over on the right side, foot. He hands off for Wyatt, a pump fake, steps inside the arc toward the paint. Lob pass down low, off the hands of foot, oh, out of bounds. Team. And no, it's saved in, and Saunders is going the other way with it. And a lob and a two-hand throw down for Williams. Rodney Williams gives the sevens a 15 to five lead. Quickly the other way, Adonis Thomas drives. Pump fake, goes up strong, no good. Rebound pulled down by Pell, whistle and he walks. Shuffled his feet as he got going. Ball goes back to Springfield. And they'll inbound on the far side. 7.34 left first quarter, 15 to five. Delaware in the lead. They say Springfield team that struggles to score. They're last in the league, averaging 103 points per game. Ball out top with Anderson. He overhands a skip pass into the right corner. Off the hands of Massey, out of bounds. Back to Delaware. That one went right through the wickets. And Delaware gets it back, 15 to five. Delaware on top, 7.25 left in the first quarter. Ante DeCumpo into the front court. Nearly loses the handle, but able to hang on. Now spins, gets a little space. Dribbles down the left side, goes up strong, lays it up and in. Long strides from Ante DeCumpo as he drives to the hole, 17 to five. Delaware on top, 7.05 left in the first quarter and a whistle and a timeout called for by Springfield head coach Doug Overton. With 7.04 left in the first quarter, both teams will get 30 to talk things over. We'll keep it right here. Sevens basketball brought to you in part by ATI Physical Therapy, the proud athletic training and physical therapy partner of the 87ers. So Delaware off to a strong start tonight. Currently with a very interesting lineup on the floor. It's one of the first times, at least at home, that we've seen a lineup where the backcourt is basically three swingmen, Damian Saunders, Thanasis Ante DeCumpo, and Rodney Williams, although we'll see if that changes out of this timeout. Josh Akoyan yet to see any action here tonight. And the lineup will stay the same. Norvell Pell, Damian Saunders, Rodney Williams, Thanasis Ante DeCumpo, and Michael Lee. So a very long athletic lineup on the floor, and that athleticism even goes to the five for Delaware and Norvell Pell. Springfield. Triggers the ball in out top, Wyatt drives into the lane, goes up off balance and connects. Little floater in the lane is good for Khalif Wyatt. Delaware on top 17 to seven. With 6.53 left here in the first quarter. Ante DeCumpo out top, marked by Massey, drives into the lane, long strides again with a layup, no good. And Foote gets the rebound, pushes the pace ahead to Wyatt right wing. Skip pass, down low, Thomas kick out, Anderson knocked out of bounds by Ante DeCumpo, racing back to break that play up. 6.38 left first quarter, 17 to seven Delaware. Good sign, the quick start for the sevens. They trailed Erie 76 to 48 at halftime last time out. And this time they're up by 10 early. Foot, right post, turnaround move on the baseline. Shot no good, rebound by Ante DeCumpo and he turns on the speed to the other end. 
Bounces down low for Williams, who goes up and throws down with two hands. 19 to seven, Delaware leads. 6.20 left in the first quarter, and when he goes up, he just continues to kind of unfurl and extend, and it seems like he gets taller and taller. Head coach Rod Baker compared him to Inspector Gadget as Khalif Wyatt triggers a three and connects to the other end. 19 to 10, Delaware's lead over Springfield. 6.04 left here in the first quarter. This time driving again as Ante Kumpo draws contact, takes a hard spill on the baseline, but he did draw a foul. And that one's going to go on Larry Anderson. That's his first. Two free throws coming up for Ante Tacumpo. As Josh Akoyan set to check into the game. Ante Tacumpo at the line where he's 66% on the season. But as is a guy who's really come on strong down the stretch, averaging 16 and a half points over his last 13 games. First free throw good for T. He's a six foot seven, 215 pound forward from Athens, Greece. Coyne taking the spot of Damian Saunders on the floor. One more free throw for Ante Tacumpo. And it is up and good. 21 to 10, Delaware leads Springfield with 6.01 left to play here in the first quarter. Khalif Wyatt handling the ball out top. He was the 8-10 player of the year last year at Temple. Driving on the right side, turned back by Akoyan and now trying to body him, puts up a shot off balance, count it and a foul. Drew some contact from Akoyan right of the lane and went up and finished. That'll be the first foul on a coin. Brings us to immediate timeout. 5.51 left, first quarter. Delaware on top of Springfield, 21-12 uh, on the Sevens Radio Network. So all these breaks should be two minutes. All right, thanks. Welcome back inside the Bob Carpenter Center. Delaware on top of Springfield, 21 to 12 with 5.51 left in the first quarter. Khalif Wyatt at the line of the left end for Springfield. Puts it up and hits, completing a three-point play. 21-13 now the Delaware lead. As Josh Akoyan handles the ball in the backcourt, Khalif Wyatt has 11 of Springfield's 13 points here in the early going. Pass into the front court is knocked out of bounds right over the, the scorer's table. And it'll be inbounded right in front of us. Delaware ball as it was tipped by Springfield. If I were taller, I would have had it. But if I were taller, maybe I'd be out there. Height never a strong suit the broadcast booth. Coyne has it out top, marked by Massey. Swings it on to the right side for Williams. Has a screen from Lee. Now double team, shot clock violation for Delaware. As Williams really had nowhere to go trying to force that one up. 5.26 left in the first quarter. Delaware on top of Springfield, 21-13. Springfield ball in the backcourt. Massey getting set to inbound. 
Out there with Khalif Wyatt, Jeff Foote, Adonis Thomas, and Larry Anderson. Wyatt handling the ball out top. He's four for five from the field, has 11 points here, and a bit of a homecoming game for Wyatt, who grew up in Norristown, PA, played his college ball at Temple. He's got it out top. Marked by Powell, pump fake, step around into the lane, kicks into the left corner. Anderson for three, it's long. Foot though grabs the rebound, backs it out in the right corner. Cycled out top, Wyatt straight away, drives into the lane, meandering. Now marked by Powell, whistle, and it's going back the other way. Three second violation against Springfield, Delaware ball. And the sevens will inbound on the far side in the backcourt, Lee in for a coin. Guarded by Massey, a little loose full court pressure from Springfield. Akoyan carries forward. Still scoreless here in the early going. He's got it high right side. Akoyan bounces right baseline for Pell. Driving on foot, gets inside, misses down low. Foot gets the loose ball and finds Wyatt. He turns on some speed into the front court, drives around Williams, hangs. Floater is swatted away down low by Pell, but getting it back, driving and finishing is Massey. Delaware's lead now down to 21-15. A coin marked closely by Massey in the backcourt. Needs to hurry up here, just has a couple seconds to get into the front court. does make it in time, and now a coin directs traffic with a right. The armor on a 10-4 run. Pittman has it high right side, checking into the game for Delaware. Swings it out top for a coin, who overhands left side, Williams. Five to shoot, drives baseline. Skip pass comes out of bounds, and back to Springfield. Headed right toward the scorer's table again. And this time, Massey will inbound for Springfield. Finds Wyatt. He's averaging about 16 points and four assists for Springfield this year. Started his season in China. Adonis Thomas has it right side. Pivots, kicks out top, Wyatt. Swings back over to Adonis Thomas on the right wing. He fires up a two-point J, swish. Adonis Thomas connects. He's averaging 16 a game as well. And now the Springfield deficit just 21-17. It's a 12-4 run for the armor as Akoyan takes it into the front court for Delaware. Waist high dribble. Curls around to the right wing. Marked still by Massey. Akoyan looking for some help. Pell sets the screen. Akoyan now on the right wing. Back toward the middle of the floor. Has the ball stolen by Massey. He throws ahead for foot. Leaves it off for Anderson. Drives. Alley-oop. And a little layup from Thomas on the other end. 21-19. The Delaware lead over Springfield. And a delay game warning on Springfield. Delaware ball to inbound. Lee overhands toward midcourt for Williams. It's a 14 to four Springfield run. Williams pulls up for a left wing two, knocks it down. 23 to 19, Rodney Williams has nine. Delaware on top by four with 3.05 left here in the first quarter. Out top it's Wyatt driving to the left elbow. Now swings it out to Thomas on the left wing. Marked by Powell, drives on him, spins. Fadeaway J rattles off the mark. Rebound by foot and the stick back good for the seven footer. 23-21, the Delaware lead, 248 left to play first quarter. Pell on the right wing, drives on foot, gets into the lane, lays it up, no good, but a foul. That'll go on foot. It'll be his second and sends Norvell Pell to the line for a pair of free throws when we return. 23-21, Delaware over Springfield, 244 left in the first quarter on the Sevens Radio Network.
Oh. Welcome back. 244 left in the first quarter. Delaware on top of Springfield 23-21. Norvell Pell going to the line to shoot a pair. Pell coming off one of his strongest games of the year. He had 15 points, 13 rebounds, and four blocks last time out in a loss at Erie. Hits the first free throw. Pell is 60% free throw shooter on the year, averaging about five points and three rebounds in around 12 minutes a night. One more free throw to come for the six foot 10, 207 pound forward from Long Beach, California. And he gets them both, 25 to 21. Delaware on top of Springfield, 240 left here in the first quarter. Larry Anderson carrying the ball forward for the armor. Dribbles onto the right side, drives, gets down low, blocked from behind by Saunders, but gets his own loose ball. Pulls up for a two from the left side. That's no good. Rebound underneath by Pittman. And he lofts it over to B.J. Young, who carries forward. Delaware on top by four here. Late first quarter as Young bounces left side. Saunders, pump fake, bounce pass, stolen away. Wyatt takes it to the left end. Swings a pass down low for Anderson. He's blocked, but a foul. That'll go on B.J. Young, the first in the six-foot-four guard. And free throws coming up for Springfield with 2.14 left in the first quarter. So Larry Anderson goes to the line, the six foot 10 guard from Long Beach, California, who played four years of college ball at Long Beach State and left sixth all time in scoring there with more than 1,500 points. Anderson, a 73% free throw shooter this year. Also set a record at Long Beach State with 206 steals, but still went undrafted in 2012. Hits the first free throw, one more to come. Anderson averaging about 14 points, five and a half rebounds a game this year in the D-League with the armor. Second free throw, no good. Saunders gets the rebound underneath. Swings it ahead for Young. Sing into the left corner. Pittman drives, hangs left baseline floater. Good and a foul. And whistled for the contact was Alejo Rodriguez. And now Pittman goes to the line for a three-point play. He's coming off a strong game as well. Had a season high 17 points and five rebounds in here. So Pittman at the line. A six foot nine forward from Covington, Kentucky, who Played at Marshall. Hits the free throw. It's 28-22, Delaware. 2.05 left, first quarter. Wyatt handling the ball out top. On to the right side. Now drives down low. A high layup off glass. No good. Rodriguez put back try. No. A second try. No. Long rebound. Massey hands off in the corner for Wyatt. Back to Massey. Left wing. He drives into the lane. A floater is good. Massey able to finish inside. 28-24, Delaware leads. A minute 40 left, first quarter, a long inbound ahead to Pittman, under duress, but he finds Young, who carries into the front court. Calls a play, dribbling out top, bounces toward the free throw line for Lee, driving on Thomas, hangs, swatted away by Thomas, it'll stay with Delaware out of bounds. Adonis Thomas with the block there, he's got a seven foot one wingspan and a 40 and a half inch vertical, go along with a six foot six frame. Ball will be inbounded on the baseline by Young, left of the basket. Looking for somewhere to go. Gets it into the corner for Lee. Offs it to Pell, left side beyond the lane. Puts up about a 15 footer off the window, no good. Rebound by Massey who races to the left end. Hesitation move, drives, layup, swatted by Pell and they'll call it goaltending. I thought he got it before it hit the backboard or the apex. We'll take a look at the replay on the monitor here and oh, that's a block. So Pell whistled for the goaltend there. It's 28-26, the sevens the lead over the armor. 107 left first quarter. Saunders drives a floater. No, it was a lob to Pell who threw it down, but there was a foul called first. And the contact is on Anderson. That's the second. And Saunders goes to the line to shoot two free throws. He's a 56% free throw shooter on the year. Saunders, six foot eight, 214 pounds from Waterbury, Connecticut. Bends his knees, puts up the first, and off the mark. Played his college ball at Duquesne. He was actually with Springfield. The Sevens traded Jerome Dyson to Springfield before the season, along with draft picks for Saunders in the sixth overall pick. Second free throw rims out for Damian. Rebounded by Thomas, who hands off to Massey. The guard carries forward on the right side. Under a minute left, first quarter, Springfield looking to take its first lead of the game of the three or tie the game for the first time since it was scoreless. Massey drives, kicks it into the left corner, three, yes sir! 
Adonis Thomas drills the triple. And they're going to pause to reset the clock to 47 seconds. But Thomas giving Springfield a 29-28 lead. First lead of the game for the Armour, who once trailed 17-5. They've outscored Delaware 21-11 since. And we're still awaiting the game clock being reset. There it is, 47 seconds on the game clock. Delaware ball in the backcourt. Saunders into B.J. Young, marked by Massey. Young carries forward. Taking his time out top. Behind the back dribble, drives, dishes, left wing. Saunders for three. Off the side iron, no good. And the rebound corralled by Massey. He whips a pass ahead of the pack. Brown bounces right side. Swatted was Thomas, but it comes right out to Wyatt. Pump fake. Dribbling, now swings out top. Nearly stolen by Young. Massey able to hold on. Drives, dishes, left corner. Brown kicks it out to Wyatt. Pump fake. Now he triggers a long three, no good. Rebound underneath, tipped by Saunders, and Young gets it in the corner. Eight seconds left in the quarter. Young drives behind the back, dribble into the lane, hangs, puts it up off the window and in. And the sevens lead, 30 to 29 with 2.1 ticks left. Long pass ahead, Thomas, a right wing three at the buzzer, no good. And that'll do it for the first quarter. It's Delaware 30, Springfield 29. Back in the second quarter after this, Sevens Radio Network. Welcome back inside the Bob Carpenter Center. Ryan Messick with you with Delaware on top of Springfield 30 to 29 as the two teams head back out onto the floor for the second quarter. Delaware opened up a 17 to 5 lead, but Springfield took a 24 to 11 run to take its first lead of the game at 29 28. PJ Young hit at the end of the first quarter to put Delaware back on top 30 to 29. And it's Springfield ball to start the second frame. Lorenzo Brown, the former 87er, handling out top as he carries into the front court. Behind the back dribble, drives free throw line, dishes, left corner, three on the way. It's too long off the mark as that one was set up there by Matthew. Gets a steal in the backcourt, layup no good, and Saunders gets the loose ball and darts the other way. Kick out pass right wing Young into the right corner. Ante DeCumpo wants three. Give him three and give him a chance for a four-point play. Thanasis, is Ante DeCumpo going to the line after a foul on Massey. He knocked down the three, now a chance for a four-point play. Ante DeCumpo has seven points tonight. He's two for two at the strike. 66% on the season. Delaware on top, 33-29. to 11.37 left to play here in the second quarter. T bends his knees, puts it on the way, got it. 
34 to 29, a four point play for Ante DeCumpo. 11.35 left here in the second quarter. And Delaware on a little 6-0 run. Brown behind the back dribble, gets some space in the left wing. Swings a pass right side, three on the way. It's off the mark for Ebanks. Rebound in the far corner, whistle and a foul as Rodriguez went after it. And that foul goes on Delaware. That's the third on Tiny Gallant. He's got five points, a rebound and an assist, but also three fouls with 11.23 left here in the second quarter. And now Springfield will inbound on the far side. Brown has it out top. Dribbles through his leg, sizing up Gallon. Whistle. And a foul called, I believe, on Ante DeCumpo away from the ball. That is the second on Ante DeCumpo. And Springfield to inbound on the near side. Shot clock at 18. Ball comes into Brown. Curls out top. Now backs it out on the right wing. Steps up, crossover, right elbow jumper, got it. Lorenzo Brown gets on the scoreboard, averaging 17 points on the season, but only about 11 and a half per game in Springfield. Young takes it the other way, has it stolen. Massey racing to the left end, drives, goes up, no good, but a foul on Young. So Massey will go to the line for two free throws with Delaware on top of Springfield, 34-31. That's the second foul of the game on B.J. Young with 10.56 left here in the second quarter. Massey, a six foot three guard from Germantown, Maryland, who played his college ball at Middle Tennessee. A 63% free throw shooter. He was the Sunbelt Defensive Player of the Year last year at Middle Tennessee in third team all Sunbelt conference. Massey bends his knees, puts it up, and the first is no good. Substitution now for Delaware. Norvell Pell checks into the game. Took the spot of Tiny Gallon. One more free throw for Massey. It's an eighth round pick in the NBA D-League draft after going undrafted in the NBA draft. Massey spins the ball in his left hand, puts it up. No good, long rebound, Lorenzo Brown grabs it. Has it swatted away in traffic, Ante DeCumpo gets the loose ball. Bounces it ahead, B.J. Young on the right side. Swings it into the right corner, Pittman, a pump fake, jab step. Now another pump fake, goes up for a three, no good. He was just trying to draw contact, but Ante DeCumpo gets the rebound. He's in the corner, never hit the rim, so the shot clock's still ticking, but Pell gets a pass down low and throws down with two hands. 36-31, Delaware, 10 and a half to play, second quarter. Lorenzo Brown carrying forward on the high right side. Now dribbles out top, Brown, marked by Pell. Bounce pass goes down low, Rodriguez, turn around, puts it up with the left, and hits. Nice post move down low and finishes at the rim. 36-33, Delaware on top of Springfield. 10-10 left to play second quarter. Young has it out top. B.J. Young, seven points and two assists so far. High dribble, bullet pass left side, Saunders. Eight to shoot, swings it out top. Pittman fires up a three off the side rim, no good. Rebound handled by Ebanks. He sends it ahead on the right wing, Lorenzo Brown. Drives to the free throw line, dribbles through his legs, now backs it out on the left wing. This time marked by Saunders, bounce pass down low, Ebanks layup, no good, but a throw down to finish by Rodriguez. 36-35, Delaware over Springfield, 9.35 left to play in the second quarter. B.J. Young takes it back to the right end. He's dribbling it out top, drives to the free throw line in the lane, kick out left corner. Three ball on the way for Saunders, no good. And this time the rebound grabbed by Rodriguez. Ahead to Brown, hook pass ahead, and a two-hand throw down for L.D. Williams. 37-36, Springfield on top. Timeout, Delaware, with 9.14 left here in the second quarter. Seventh basketball brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, the proud athletic training and physical therapy partner of the 87ers. So Springfield back on top, 37-36, with 9.14 left in the second quarter. And this is a game that's been kind of back and forth after a couple of big runs in the early going. It was a 17-5 run by Delaware to open, then a 24-11 run by Springfield to take the lead at 29-28. Delaware scored the next six points of the game, and now Springfield's kind of fought back in on top 37-36. Khalif Wyatt, the high scorer so far, the former Temple Owl, has 11 points, two rebounds and two assists. He's four for eight from the field. And former 87er Lorenzo Brown has two points and two assists for Springfield. Meanwhile, Delaware led by nine points from Rodney Williams, eight from Thanasis Ante DeCumpo, and seven from B.J. Young. 
Seventh ball in the backcourt. Saunders into Ante de Kumpo. And he'll carry forward. Calls a play with a right hand. T running things out top. Lofts a pass down low for Saunders. Whips it out to the right side, and that is out of bounds into the scorer's table and handled deftly there. And it'll be back to Springfield. LD Williams to inbound. Former Wake Forest Demon Deacon bounces in for Lorenzo Brown, who carries forward under nine to play second quarter. Lorenzo high left side. Swings a pass out top. Ebanks driving. Fade away. Baseline J from the right. No good. Rebound handled by Ante de Kumpo, or rather by Saunders, who finds Ante de Kumpo. He dribbles to the right end, hangs, dishes. It's tipped out of bounds. Nice D there by Lance Hurdle, the Camden, New Jersey native. But the ball will stay with the sevens. Be inbounded in front of their own bench by Ante de Kumpo. And T in the right corner with the inbound. Finds Pittman right wing. Dribbles through his legs, drives toward the lane, 10 to shoot, kick out left side, Gallant. Tiny, forces up a shot from the left wing, that's no good, off iron, rebounded by Springfield. Hurdle takes it the other way, leaves it off to the trailer, Brown for three, no good. Long rebound though, handled by Hurdle into the left corner, out of bounds, back to Delaware. So Sevens ball to inbound in the backcourt, 8-18 left to play second quarter. Springfield on top, 37-36. That ass is Ante de Kumpo. Still handling things out top. Whips the pass to the right side for Pittman. Drives into the lane, has the ball ripped away, gets it back, goes up, lays it in. 38-37, Delaware leads. Physicality inside for Pittman with under eight minutes to play in the second quarter. And Hurdle takes it the other way, averaging about five points and just over an assist and a rebound per game for Springfield. It is college ball at Miami. Dribbles onto the right wing. Hurdle pulls up for three. No good, but a foul. And that one will go on Tiny Gallon. And that's bad news for the Sevens. That's four on Gallon with 7.44 left to play in the second quarter. And Delaware on top, 38-37. Norvell Pell will check in for Gallon, who heads over to the bench with four fouls. And got to imagine he'll be sitting down for the rest of the quarter and maybe into the third. Hurdle will shoot three at the left end. He's an 82% free throw shooter. And the first is no good. Hurdle spent last year in the Australian National Basketball League. He was second in their dunk contest and went to the All-Star game. Tore his ACL in January of last year and fought his way back. Second free throw good as Pell officially checks into the game. And one more to come for Hurdle. Trying to give Springfield the lead with 7.44 left in the second quarter. Puts it up and hits. So all three are good for Hurdle. It's 39-38, Springfield on top. 7.44 left to play second quarter. Ante de Cupo pressured in the backcourt, but able to handle it. Carries forward. 15 to shoot now. Ante de Cupo out top. Wants a screen, and that's going to be a foul on Pell, who comes out to set the screen and is whistled for an offensive foul. That's the first on Pell. Springfield to inbound, Ebanks swings it in for Lorenzo Brown. Waist high dribble into the front court for the former seven. Now onto the high left side, former sixer as well. Brown, bounce pass goes down low, Ebanks, a former Laker. He puts up the jumper and hits over Williams. 41-38, Springfield the lead, 7-13 left in the second quarter. Carrying forward is Ante de Kumpo. He's got it out top. Thanasis swings it onto the right side for Saunders. Back over to T. Overhands left side. Williams behind the arc. Gets to the left baseline for Pell. Turns, squares, dribbles toward the lane. Puts up a righty shot. No good, but a foul. Norvell Pell earns his way to the free throw line. And that Springfield foul goes on Alejo Rodriguez. It's his second. So Pell to the line. He's got four points and a rebound tonight. Pell on the season, a 60% free throw shooter. He's also got two block shots tonight as well. First free throw good for Pell, who's averaging 1.4 blocks per game and only about 12 minutes of action per night. His shot blocking perhaps his most impressive attribute. One more free throw to come for Pell. And it's off the mark. 
Rebound tipped up by Pittman. Stick back try no good. And on the follow, the sevens connect. It's Damian Saunders. We're tied at 41. 6.44 left in the second quarter as Brown carries forward for Springfield on the high left side. Now driving to the left baseline, gets underneath, kick out pass, comes out top. A three on the way, no good for Williams. Long rebound corralled by Brown. He's marked by Ante DeCumpo out top. Now giving him some space, Brown crossover, drives into the paint, goes up strong inside, can't finish. Pittman the rebound, forces it ahead to Ante DeCumpo, a lob, and Rodney Williams throws down with two hands on the alley-oop. 43-41 Delaware, Ebanks a left wing three the other way, swish! An alley-oop at one end and a triple at the other. It's 44-43, Springfield on top. Delaware quickly the other way, Williams drives, reverse layup, no good. A lot of contact, no call. And the ball goes back to Springfield out of bounds. 6.04 left to play here in the second quarter. Springfield on top of Delaware, 44-43. Seven's head coach Ron Baker arguing for the foul, and he won't get it. Springfield to inbound, hurdle for Brown. By the way, after that alley-oop, Rodney Williams has 11 points, leading Delaware. High left side, it's Brown into the front court. Marked by Saunders. Swings a pass over, left wing, Ebanks. He drives on Ante DeCoupo, goes up strong, can't finish, but a foul. Norvell Pell. No, rather Ante DeCoupo. They were both in the area. That'll be three on Ante DeCoupo. 5.48 left, second quarter. Springfield 44, Delaware 43 on the Sevens Radio Network. Welcome back inside the Bob Carpenter Center. 44-43, Springfield on top of Delaware with 5.48 left to play in the second quarter. Free throws to come for Devin Ebanks at the left end. Six foot nine, 215 pound forward from Long Island City up in Queens in New York. Played his college ball at West Virginia. He's played 63 NBA games, including 15 starts with the Lakers. Hits the first free throw. Average about 3.6 points, two rebounds a game for the Lakers. Coming off a five game suspension. And back in the lineup tonight. Second free throw, good. Ebanks has seven. Springfield on top, 46-43. Ante DeCumpo running the point. Nearly loses the handle, only has two seconds to get into the front court. Long pass ahead to Saunders. He finds Williams, throws it up, and Norvell Pell throws it down with two hands. 46-45, Springfield on top of Delaware. 5.30 left in the second quarter as Lorenzo Brown carries to the left end for Springfield. He's got it high left side. Marked by Saunders. Bounce pass, right wing. Hurdle for three off the side iron. Long rebound handled 
by Michael Lee. He runs into the front court. Left side of the lane, goes up righty floater, no good. A rebound underneath is handled by Rodriguez. Ahead, hurdle onto the right wing, Ebanks into the right corner, throws up an off balance jumper, no good. Thought he had a foul drawn, and Lee gets the rebound and goes the other way. Finds Ante de Kumpo, drives into the lane, reverse layup, no good. LD Williams the rebound, he races to the left end. Williams down the right side, gets underneath, blocked from behind by Williams, but a foul. And that one goes on Rodney Williams. That is his first. So a couple of free throws coming up at the left end for Williams. Six foot four guard from Yadkinville, North Carolina, who played his college ball at Wake Forest. His senior year there in 2009-2010, he averaged about nine points and six rebounds. First free throw no good for Williams. He spent parts of three seasons with the Armor, 2010-2011. 2011-2012 and this year. The 64% free throw shooter has one more to come. High arcing free throw is good. Springfield's lead is 47-45. 4.45 left to play in the second quarter. Williams bounces a pass into the left corner for Lee. Back out to Williams. A left wing three. Yes! Rattles it home. Delaware's back on top. 48-47. Four and a half minutes left here in the second quarter. The other way, Lorenzo Brown on the right wing. One arm pass to Ebanks, overhands into the left side for Hurdle. Around a screen left baseline, backs into the corner, swings it out top, Ebanks. Drives to the right elbow, spin move, kick out, right wing, Brown, an open look at three, yes! Nothing but net for the former seven, and Lorenzo Brown has five. Springfield on top, 50 to 48. Lee into the front court, dribbling out top, bounces left side, Ante DeCumpo. Step back, two point jumper, no good, but a foul. And Ante DeCumpo goes to the line after the foul on Lance Hurdle. That's his first. Ante DeCumpo has eight points, three assists, two rebounds tonight. Three for three at the free throw line. And the six foot seven forward has a pair coming. Ante DeCumpo, the ninth overall pick in the D League draft this year. He withdrew from the NBA draft on the last day possible. First free throw good for Ante DeCumpo, who will go through the NBA draft process this year. His brother Giannis in the NBA with the Bucks, the Greek freak. Ante DeCumpo has gone into double figure scoring in 12 of the last 13 games and misses that free throw that would have put him over the 10 point mark tonight. He's got nine, Springfield on top, 50 to 49. In the left corner, Williams, jab step, drives the baseline, gets underneath, layup, no good. And the rebound is corralled by Norval Pell ahead to Saunders. Dribbles into the front court, Saunders has it out top, onto the left wing, Ante DeCumpo, back to Saunders. And he'll back things out, slow it down a bit, direct some traffic. Saunders still handling the ball, straight away, swings it left side, Rodney Williams. He drives, goes up strong, and a tomahawk throw down with a right, plus a foul. Rodney Williams going to the free throw line for a three-point play. Delaware on top, 51-50 with 3.31 left to play in the second quarter. And still some oohs and ahs from the crowd on that one. As Williams went up from outside the paint and threw it down with a right. He's got a chance now at the three-point play. He's got 16 points tonight. And puts up the free throw and hits. Rodney Williams, 17 points. Big performance for Williams tonight. And we're still in the first half. 326 left in the first half. Delaware up 52-50. Ebanks pulls up for a straightaway three and hits. Devin Ebanks now has 10. The armor back on top, 53-52. Ante DeCumpo drives around his man, swings into the right corner, Lee. High arcing three, no good. Offensive board, Ante DeCumpo gets it down low, and a two-hand slam for Pell. 54-53, Delaware with 3.03 left to play here in the second quarter. Nine points for Pell. Ebanks out top, swings left side for Brown. Crossover dribble, now backs it out. Around a screen, pass down low, tipped out of bounds by Pell. And that brings us to a media timeout. 2.49 left to play in the second quarter. The Sevens 54, the Armor 53 on the Sevens radio network.
we are three for seven from three. They're six and fourteen. Three for seven is actually good, even though it doesn't sound good. Forty-three percent. Sixty. Welcome back to the Bob Carpenter Center. Armor ball at the left end, inbounded to Adonis Thomas. Delaware on top, 54-53. 2.45 left here in the second quarter. Ball goes to the right block for Jeff Foote. Backing down Pell, gets him in the air, goes up, shot blocked, but a foul. Likely to go on Norvell Pell. If so, it's his second, and it is. Pell's been active in this one. Nine points, a couple of rebounds. Two blocked shots as well for Pell. But this time the foul sends Jeff Foote to the line, the seven-footer who played his college ball at Cornell. 51% from the free throw line. The first is no good off the back iron. Foote averaging about nine points and eight rebounds per game. Three-time All-Ivy League selection, the Ivy Defensive Player of the Year in 2008-2009. Second free throw, no good for Foote. Rebound handled by Damian Saunders. He'll carry forward himself into the front court. On to the right side, Lee for three, off the side rim. Rebounded by Adonis Thomas, who moves it ahead to Massey to the left end. Massey around a screen to the free throw line. Picks up his dribble, kicks it into the right corner. Three on the way, it's too long for Brown. And the long rebound handled by Ante DeCumpo. Turns on the Jets to the other end, bounces down low. Williams underneath, blocked by foot. Ante DeCumpo chases down a loose ball. Has it poked out of bounds in the right corner by Brown. It'll stay at the right end. Ante DeCumpo wanted a foul, but the Sevens will keep the ball. Lee heads over to inbound on the baseline in the corner, so a tough spot to inbound. Substitution for Springfield, Larry Anderson checking into the game for Lorenzo Brown, the former Seven. Checks out with five points, three assists, two rebounds. 2.09 left second quarter, Delaware 54, Springfield 53. Lee overhands it out top to Pell. Drive down the left side, gets underneath, reverse layup, no good. Ante DeCumpo throws down with two hands in the follow. He's got 11, he's in the double figures for the 13th time in 14 games. Delaware's on top, 56-53. Under two minutes to play in the half as Anderson drives, left of the lane, backs it out. Waist high dribble for Anderson around a screen out top. Dribbles through his legs, 10 to shoot. Skip pass right corner, Massey pulls up for a two, got it. Bruce Massey has eight. And Springfield cuts it down to a 56-55 game. 135 left first half. Ante DeCumpo handling the ball on the high right side. Drives into the lane, goes up, no good, but a foul. Underhand shot. Springfield wanted a jump ball. But instead, two free throws coming for Delaware after the foul on Larry Anderson. Springfield head coach Doug Overton frustrated by the call. And sends Khalif Wyatt to the scorer's table to check in as Anderson argues his case. Ante DeCumpo has two to come at the free throw line where he's four for five tonight. And the first bounces off the rim about five times and drops. Fortuitous bounce there for Ante DeCumpo as Wyatt checks in for Anderson, who now has three fouls. Wyatt has 11 points in 12 minutes of action tonight. Ante DeCumpo, one more free throw, no good. Rebounded by Thomas, who finds Khalif Wyatt. And the former Temple Lau carries forward. Into the front court with a waist-high righty dribble. Swings over to the left side, gives the ball up out top to Ebanks. One arm's a pass to the right from Massey. Trying to feed the post for foot. Instead pulls up for three, off the mark. Long rebound, Massey gets it, drives, dishes. Thomas, a left wing two, no good. Loose ball underneath. Foot dives to the floor, can't get it. Lee comes up with it. Swings it ahead for Ante DeCumpo. Drives into the lane, dishes underneath. Reverse layup. Saunders, yes! Damian Saunders 
has four. Delaware is up 59-55, 54 seconds left in the half. Massey out top onto the right side. Adonis Thomas holds over his head, swings into the right corner. Ebanks, jab step, fires along two, swish. 59-57, Delaware. Ebanks has 12. Into the front court goes Saunders for the seven to the right end. Drives, loses it, rolls out right side onto DeCumpo. Pump fake, now on the baseline, drives inside, loses it, gets it back, layup is good. Ante DeCumpo has 14, Delaware is up 61-57. 30 seconds left in the second quarter, about a seven second differential on the shot and game clock. Wyatt onto the left side, Thomas gets it down low foot, backing down Pell, turn around, pump fake, gets Pell on the air, layup no good, but a foul. Norvell Pell went to the air too early and then on the way down, just kind of wrapped up foot to avoid giving him the easy layup. Three fouls on Pell. Foot goes to the line where he's 0 for 2 tonight. First is good for Foot, who's 51% from the line on the year. Elijah Pittman checks into the game for Norvell Pell to make sure he doesn't pick up his fourth in the final 18 seconds of the half. One more free throw for Foot. And the seven-footer bends his knees, puts it up, and it's short. Gets his own rebound, swings it to the left side. Thomas out top, Ebanks backs it out. Ten seconds left in the half. He'll hold for the last shot. Ebanks has 12. Marked by Williams. Five seconds left. Ebanks drives behind the back dribble. Triggers a three. Off the mark. Rebound. Tip back. No good for foot. Another try. No good. And that'll do it for the first half. Delaware on top of Springfield, 61-58 at the end of the first half. A big run for the Sevens to open, a big run for Springfield to get it close, and they pretty much stayed tight after that. Delaware led by 17 points from Rondi Williams. Springfield led by 12 from Devin Ebanks. We'll have the full stats later on in the halftime. Delaware, though, on top of Springfield, 61-58. Halftime coverage coming up after this on the Sevens Radio Network. Um, you can actually go longer today. We don't have an interview or anything. You can go like five or six minutes. All right, thanks.
that. Uh, yeah, 60s, yeah. Welcome back inside the Bob Carpenter Center. Ryan Messick with you with the sevens on top of the armor, 61 to 58 at halftime. Let's take a look at some of the first half stats. We'll break down the team numbers starting with the shooting. Delaware 56% from the field. Springfield just 40%. Delaware 38% from three point range. Springfield 35%. Although Springfield's taken a lot more shots. Six of 17 from long range. Delaware three for eight. Free throws favor the sevens. They have uh, converted on 71% of their attempts. That's 12 to 17. Springfield, eight of 16 for 50%. Rebounding though, a big edge for the armor, 32 to 22. Assists pretty close, 12 to 11 in favor of Springfield. 
Steals four to three in favor of Springfield. Turnovers nine to eight. Springfield has forced one more. And Delaware's blocked four shots to Springfield's two. Meanwhile, points in the paint favor the 87ers, 36 to 20. Second chance points favor the Armor, 13 to eight. Fast break points favor the Sevens, six to five. Biggest lead of the game was a 12 point lead for the Sevens at 17 to five. And then Springfield went on a 24 to 11 run. That got them on top, 29-28. It's been pretty close since. We've had 12 lead changes and two ties. And right now at the break at 61-58 Delaware. Leading scorer in the game is Rodney Williams. He has 17 points, seven of eight from the field, most of them dunks. 14 points for Thanasis Ante DeCumpo. They're the two high scorers in the game. Meanwhile, on the Springfield side, 12 points for Devin Ebanks lead the way. Lockleaf Wyatt has 11 points in 13 and a half minutes of action as he really tore it up in the early going. The Norristown PA native and a bit of a homecoming tonight having himself a big game. We'll break down the full individual stats after this. The Sevens on top of the armor, 61-58. Back after this on the Sevens Radio Network. Hey, don't forget tonight, this is the Journal Life Delaware's number one source for news. It is bringing you more local and regional news, more about what's happening there, more business and more sports, that's not all. The yeah, it should be two minutes of spots here. Sports are coming into the USA today. That's more than seven years from page to close for national news each week. So many are keeping up politics, entertainment, business, and sports. The news journal has your efforts to subscribe today. Check out your table. Welcome back inside the Bob Carpenter Center. Ryan Messick with you with Delaware on top of Springfield 61-58 at halftime. Let's take a look at the stats starting with the sevens, individual numbers. Rodney Williams leading the way with 17 points on seven of eight shooting. He's also got an assist. Thanasis Ante DeCumpo has 14 points, six rebounds, and five assists at halftime. After that, it's nine points for Norvell Pell to go along with two rebounds and two blocked shots. B.J. Young has seven points and two assists. Five points for Tiny Gallon, four points for Damian Saunders, who also has seven rebounds, five points for Elisha Pittman, who also has two rebounds, while Josh Coyne and Michael Lee were held scoreless in the first half. Meanwhile, on the other side for Springfield, 12 points for Devin Ebanks to lead the way. He's also got a rebound and an assist. 11 points for Khalif Wyatt to go along with two rebounds and two assists. After that, you drop down to eight points for Bruce Massey. He's also got six rebounds. Massey, four for eight from the field. Seven rebounds for Adonis, Tom or excuse me, seven points for Adonis Thomas to go along with three rebounds. He's three for nine from the field. After that, you go to five points for Lorenzo Brown, the former 87er, has three assists, two rebounds. He's two for five from the field. Five points for Jeff Foot, who also has seven rebounds. He's blocked a shot tonight. Four points for Alejo Rodriguez to go along with seven rebounds. Three points for LD Williams, two points for Lance Hurdle, and one point to go along with three assists for Larry Anderson. That's the scoring on the Springfield side as we get set for the second half with Delaware on top of Springfield, 
61-58. Sevens basketball brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, the proud athletic training and physical therapy partner of the 87ers. Rodney Williams, a key performer in the first half for the 87ers. He's got 17 points on pace for a new season high. His current high is 24. Rodney had 17 points last time out as well. At six foot seven, 200 pounds, he's a very athletic forward. He's been handling the ball more over the course of the year for Delaware, trying to improve the shooting, trying to improve the offense, known as a good defender, as he was cut by the Sixers late in the preseason. So a big first half for Williams, and Delaware on top, 61-58. Both teams hoping to snap three-game losing streak. Delaware wearing special jerseys tonight. They're dark green, similar to the Celtics colors. They're going to be auctioned off after the game in a silent auction with the proceeds benefiting Christiana Care's neonatal ICU initiative. Springfield in its road blacks as we get underway. Springfield attacking at the right end. Wyatt swings the ball onto the left side for Anderson. Bounces down low for foot. Guarded by Gallen. A righty hook shot in the lane. No good. Saunders gets the rebound. Takes it the other way. Racing to the left end. Saunders in the lane. Goes up with an underhand shot with a left. No good. Gallen the rebound. Whistle and a foul. And this one is going to go against Springfield. Bruce Massey picks up his third. And Tiny Gallen goes to the line to shoot two. Gallon has five points tonight to go along with two rebounds. One for one at the strike. Gallon, a 70% free throw shooter on the year. Six foot nine, 270 pound forward, puts up the first. It's off the mark. Gallon from Vallejo, California. Played his college ball at Oklahoma. It's 15th in the uh, D League in scoring, tied for seventh in rebounding, second free throw. Good for Gallon, puts Delaware up 62-58 with 11.40 left to play in the third quarter. Wyatt takes it to the right end. Dribbling out top, bounces onto the right wing for Massey. Gets it down low for foot. Guarded by Gallon, right baseline. Bounces into the lane. Thomas, a righty floater, no. Rebound, whistle, and a foul. Saunders had corralled it. Thomas tried to knock it away, and he's whistled for his first foul of the night. Delaware ball in the backcourt. Saunders out there with Ante DeCumpo, Lee, Williams, and Gallon. For Springfield, it's Thomas, Massey, Wyatt, Anderson, and Foote. Ante DeCumpo carries forward. Dribbling between the circles. Bounces onto the right wing for Lee. He's scoreless. Overhands it out top. Saunders swings onto the left wing for Williams. Beyond the arc, dribbles down to the left baseline. Swings it out top. Gallon, he drives into the lane. Pulls up for two from the left side. No. Rebound underneath by Thomas. And running the other way now, Wyatt into the lane. Leaves it off underneath for foot block from behind of the dunk attempt, but a foul. And that should go on Damian Saunders. And it does. That's the first on Saunders. Sends foot to the line. He's one for four on the night, has five points and seven rebounds. A seven foot center from Lockwood, New York. Played his college ball for the Big Red at Cornell. Hits the first, has one more to come. Foot averaging nine points and eight boards. With the armor this year. Second free throw is good for Foot. 62 60, the Delaware lead as Ante DeCumpo handles the ball out top. Overhands a pass to the right side for Gallon. And racing over is Ante DeCumpo to take it back. Finds Lee on the right wing. He lobs it down low for Gallon, right baseline. Double teamed. Whistle as the ball went out of bounds, but off of a Springfield player. It'll stay with the seventh to inbound on the baseline with 10 to shoot. Ante DeCumpo to inbound. Swings it out, Saunders, right wing, pump fake, drives the free throw line, swings it off for Gallon, out of his reach. Overhand pass the other way for Springfield, wide in the lane, behind the back pass, stolen away by Ante DeCumpo. He races to the other end, Thanasis, left side. Slows it down, swings it out, Rodney Williams, a right wing, three, off the mark. Rebounded underneath by Adonis Thomas. He whips it ahead on the left side for Anderson. Drives into the lane, goes up, blocked by Williams partially, and a miss as well, as the loose ball is grabbed by Ante DeCumpo the other way. Down the right side. As it tipped, gets it back, kick out, Gallon, right wing for three, off the mark. Rebound tipped underneath Larry Anderson to the armor, gets it, goes to the right end in transition, bounces right side, Thomas, a 10-footer on the baseline, swish. 62 all, 9.54 left to play third quarter. Damian Saunders carries into the front court. Saunders on the left side. Swings it out top for Gallon. 
And the six foot nine big man dribbles beyond the arc. Now drives on foot, crossover in the lane, reverse layup, no good. Gallon gets his own miss. Goes up, blocked by foot. Ball loose underneath, Thomas gets it. Outlets for Anderson into the front court for Springfield. Anderson swings left side. Wyatt wants three. Give him three. 65-62, the Armour lead. Wyatt has 14 with 9.20 to play in the third quarter. Michael Lee down the left side. Now he backs it out a bit. Inside the arc, pulls up for two. No good, too strong. High rebound, and Wyatt got it. Carries it to the right end out top. Wyatt dribbles through his legs, backs it out. Straight away, pulls the trigger on a three, and connects. 68-62, the Armour lead. Whistle and a timeout, Rod Baker. Nine minutes left in the third quarter. Wyatt has 17, and after back-to-back -back triples from the former Temple Owl, the Sevens will talk things over. Sevens basketball is brought to you by ATI Physical Therapy, the proud athletic training and physical therapy partner of the 87er. Talking to Sevens head coach Rod Baker before the game, he said he was sure that Khalif Wyatt was going to try to put on a show tonight with a lot of local fans familiar with him. And he said hopefully he shoots him out of the game and not into the game. So far, Wyatt's been shooting him into the game. He's 6 of 10 from the field, and he's done some damage from long range as well as Wyatt, who on the year came in a 40% three-point shooter. At halftime, Wyatt was two for three from long range, and he's hit both second half attempts, so he's four for five. Seven's ball in the backcourt coming out of the timeout. Pittman. Hands off to Saunders out there with Lee, Williams, and Gallant. Saunders out top, onto the right side, Williams. Drives the free throw line, hangs in the air, a jumper no good, and a tip back is though for Lee. 68-64, Springfield leads, 8.40 left third quarter as the Armour go to work at the right end. Anderson out top, lob goes down low to foot, right block, bounces to a cutting Massey for a finger roll, it's in. 70-64, Springfield leads, nice play there by the Armour, eight and a half play in the third quarter with Saunders handling it out top. Sevens have let Damian Saunders and Thanasis Asante de Kumpo handle the ball a lot tonight. Saunders onto the left wing for Gallon. Hands off for Williams. A hot hand for Delaware. Drives the left baseline. Gets underneath. Layup is good down low. 70-66 the Delaware lead. Rodney Williams has 19. And Springfield goes back the other way. Anderson on the left side. Inside the arc. Pulls up for two. Swish. A long left side two for Anderson. Puts Springfield up 72-66. Under eight minutes left third quarter. Lee on the right side. Hands off for Gallon beyond the arc. Sizing up foot. Pass tipped, stolen. Going the other way, a whistle and a foul as Anderson tried to get around Gallon. And that is going to be number five on Tiny Gallon. He's frustrated with the call and he will check out. Norvell Pell checking in. He's got nine points tonight to go along with a couple of rebounds and a couple of blocks. 7.49 left here in the third quarter and Gallon already has five. See how long he stays out. Khalif Wyatt between the circles out top, swings to the left side for Massey. Lofts it down low foot, left block, backing down Pell. Puts it on the floor, turns into the lane, head fake, goes up with the right, no good. Pell tips the loose ball and Pittman grabs it. Pushes it ahead for Saunders into the front court. A lob for Pell, righty throw down, no good. Wyatt takes the loose ball the other way. Trying to get around Saunders, leaves it off. Left side Anderson, back to Wyatt. Back to Anderson, left wing, triggers a three, off the mark. Rebound underneath by foot, put back blocked, but a goal tend on Pell. Count it, 74-66 the armor lead. 7-16 left in the third quarter, foot has nine. Delaware going the other way, it's Lee out top now. Swings onto the right side, Williams triggers a three. Off the mark too long, and a long rebound grabbed by Wyatt. He races to the right end, Wyatt swings right baseline, Thomas, 15 footer, rims out, rebound tipped, Massey gets it, he goes up and lays it in. 76-66, the armor lead is 10, their biggest advantage of the night. 6.50 left third quarter as Williams handles the ball in the backcourt and carries forward. Bright yellow shoes clashing with that green jersey as he finds Pittman on the left wing. Dribbles through his legs, loses it, gets it back. Swings right side, Lee. Pump fake, step around, into the lane, goes up with the left, layup, no good. Foot gets the rebound, finds Massey. Throws a pass ahead, Wyatt drives underneath, goes up, blocked by Pell. Loose ball, Saunders tips it off, Massey out of bounds. Back to the sevens. 
with 6.26 left in the third quarter. Substitutions now as Damian Saunders checks out. No, he'll stay in. It's Ante DeCumpo checking in for Rodney Williams, who checks out with 19 points. Saunders bounces in for Ante DeCumpo, who carries into the front court. Driving on Wyatt, dishes right baseline, Pell, a 17-footer, no. Wyatt gets the rebound, and he'll take it the other way. Head up, looking for somewhere to go, slows it down, swings left wing for Anderson. Trying to feed the block, bounces now left baseline, handled there by Rodriguez, dishes it to Massey, blocked by Pell, no. They'll call it a goal 10. 6.04 left in the third quarter, and Springfield on top. 78-66, Pell's been whistled, I believe, for three goal 10s tonight. Now a 12-point lead for Springfield. Ties the sevens for the biggest lead of the game. 5.56 left third quarter as Saunders drives left side, lays it up and in. 78-68, Saunders now has six. Under six minutes to go in the third quarter. Massey the other way for Springfield at the right end, has it out top, drives, leaves it off for Anderson on the wing, steps inside the arc, dribbles it straight away. Anderson driving on Pittman, fade away from the left, no, but a foul. That shot high off glass, no good. But a couple of free throws coming. And that brings us to immediate timeout. 78-68, the armor on top of the sevens. 5.36 left in the third quarter on the sevens radio network. Welcome back, Ryan Messick with you. 5.36 left to play here in the third quarter with Springfield on top of Delaware. 78-68, Larry Anderson at the line for two free throws. The first is good. The foul was charged to Elijah Pittman. It's his first. One more to come for Anderson. He connects, 80 to 68, Springfield on top. 5.35 left in the third quarter. Ante DeCumpo running the point, double teamed, overhands a pass ahead to Saunders, corrals it, drives, floater in the lane, no good, rebound and stick back for Pell. 80 to 70, Delaware down 10, 520 left to play third quarter, Pell has 11. Out top, Anderson at the right end. He hands off, driving inside, Brown hangs, layup, no good. Pell battling for it, he able to tip it to Lee, takes it the other way. Long pass ahead for Pell, off his hands, out of bounds, and back to Springfield. 5.03 left in the third quarter, the armor 80, the 7's 70. 
Springfield taking it the other way. Massey has it out top. Wasting away a little time. Marked by Lee. Onto the right side. Now drives down low. Bumps into Pell. Whips the pass out. Left side. Thomas throws up the shot. No good. Loose underneath. Put back for Massey. No good. Ball tipped. Springfield gets it. Out top now. Pump fake from Brown. And now he backs it out. Lorenzo Brown around a screen onto the right wing. Dribbles through his legs. Down the right side, marked by Pell. Drives inside, puts up an off-balance shot. No good. Rebounded by Saunders, who carries to the left end. The left wing, Ante DeCumpo. Back into the lane. Lee throws it down with two hands. 4.17 left third quarter. It's 80-72 to Springfield. Armor ball at the right end. Lee has four. Driving, tipped out of bounds, saved by Pittman as Rodriguez lost it. Ante DeCumpo now in traffic, gets it to the left end, dribbles around Anderson, bounces into the right corner. Pittman wants three, give him three. 80 to 75, the Springfield lead is just five. A 7 0 run for the Sevens with 3.51 left to play here in the third quarter. And Brown takes it the other way for Springfield, bounces to the right side for Thomas. Marked by Lee, gives it up left side. Anderson puts up the jumper, no good. Rebound by Ante DeCumpo. He's bumped into underneath, and that'll be a foul on Massey. That is his fourth. So four now on Massey. And Delaware will inbound in the backcourt. 80 to 75, the Springfield lead. 337 left third quarter as Khalif Wyatt checks in for Bruce Massey. Wyatt has 17 points and six rebounds tonight. Former Temple Al having a big game here in Delaware as Saunders gets it into Ante DeCumpo. But Asses has 14 points, eight rebounds, and seven assists, filling up the stat sheet. Dribbling between the circles. Give it up! And looking for somewhere to go. On the left wing now, Ante DeCumpo finds Saunders onto the right wing. Pittman tries to drive baseline, it's knocked out of bounds and the officials conferring they're going to go jump off. Neither one knew who it went off of with Anderson playing D on Pittman and now the officials coming over to confer and it'll be a jump ball and Sevens head coach Rod Baker wants the shot clock adjusted. It'll be at five and it won't move. So if Delaware wins we'll have to get a shot up quickly. Pittman against Anderson, ball in the air, Pittman wins it. Over to the right side, Saunders, three to shoot, lob down low, off the hands of Pell, out of bounds, whistle, and it was out off Delaware. So Springfield gets the ball back, 80 to 75, the armor on top. As Brown swings it into the front court, Wyatt, a left wing three, off the mark too long, rebounded by Ante DeCumpo. And he takes it the other way in transition, drives, bounces down low, Lee, reverse layup is good. 80 to 77, Delaware down by just three with under three to play in the third quarter. Brown the other way, drives the lane, splits two defenders, whistle, and a foul. And that will go against Delaware. And bring foul is on Thanasis Ante de Kumpo. that's his fourth. 2.53 left, third quarter, Delaware trails Springfield, 80 to 77 on the Sevens Radio Network.
Welcome back into the Bob Carpenter Center. Ryan Messick with you with Springfield on top of Delaware. 8 to 77, 253 left to play in the third quarter. And free throws coming for the armor after Tanasha Dante Jumbo picked up his fourth foul. So two Delaware players in foul trouble. Tiny Gallon has five. He's on the bench. Tanasha Dante Jumbo has four. He's on the bench as well. As Lorenzo Brown puts up his first and hits. Lorenzo Brown has six points, three assists, and two rebounds in his return to Delaware. He was playing with the Armor earlier in the season. He was acquired by the Sixers on November 20th, and then assigned back and forth to the G-League the Sixers. He was released. He went back to Springfield. Hit them both. Delaware the other way. Williams blocked down low by Brown. Rodney was going up for another throwdown, and Brown had another idea. Now Lorenzo on the right side. Kicks it out to Thomas, onto the left side, Wyatt, now onto the left wing, Anderson for three, no, rebound handled by Saunders, Delaware down 82-77, 2.30 to play third quarter, Lee on the left wing, he drives, baseline bounces into the corner, Rodney Williams, overhand to pass into the paint, Pittman, pump fake, goes up with a shot with a right, yes, and a foul, Pittman going to the line for a two run. And Pittman hoping to add to it at the strike. Elijah Pittman has 10 points and 3 rebounds tonight. He had 17 points and 5 rebounds last time out, setting a season high. Shot no good though, it's the free throw, and Springfield goes the other way. Lorenzo Brown on the left side, wants the screen from Thomas. Now direct traffic to the left. Bounces to Thomas on the left side. Jab step, shoots over Lee for 2, no. Rebound by Saunders, racing to the left end. Damian behind the back, dribble around Anderson, bounces down low, and Pell dumps it with a right. 82-81, the Springfield lead is a point. Under two minutes left, third quarter, as Anderson drives, Euro step, loses it down low, out of bounds. It'll stay at the right end. Delaware in the mid of a 13-2 run. Springfield to inbound, comes all the way out top to Thomas. Pass to the right wing for Brown. Pump fake behind the back dribble. Step back jumper from the right. Yes. Lorenzo Brown knocks it down. 84-81 the armor lead. 138 left here in the third quarter. Lorenzo Brown has nine. Saunders out top. Brings it on to the right side for Lee. He drives into the lane. Goes up. Loses the ball. It's taken away by Rodriguez. And he'll hand it off to Brown. Brings it on to Adonis Thomas, drives, dishes, left wing wide into the left corner. Anderson wide open for three. It's too strong. Rebounded by Saunders underneath. Carries to the left end. Saunders loses it to traffic. Lorenzo Brown the other way with numbers. Brown drives, goes up, and dumps it with a right. Lorenzo Brown in the double figures. He's got 11. Long pass the other way. Williams, the lob, and a two-hand throw down for Norvell Powell. Rodney Williams on the other end of the alley -oop this time. It's 86-83. Springfield lead. In the third quarter, Norvell Pell has 15 points. Back to back 15 point games for Pell. Springfield ball, Lorenzo Brown carrying forward. And he'll waste away some time out top. 50 seconds on the game clock in the third quarter, 13 in the shot clock. Brown ahead, crossover, drives, gets underneath, just throws it up, no good. Follow, no good either, is tipping it up was Rodriguez, Saunders racing the other way, has it poked away from behind to Wyatt, throws it ahead of the pack for Brown, catches, and throws down with two hands. Looks like a wide receiver hauling that one in, it's 88-83 Springfield, Brown now has 13. Ball comes into Pittman in the backcourt. Carries it into the front court on the right side. Dribble to his leg, swings for Williams on the left wing. Rodney has 19 points and three assists. Gets it out top to Pittman, 12 to shoot. Dad steps, dribbles through his leg, crossover, drives, gets into traffic, throws it up, no good, and Madonna Thomas the rebound. Overhand to pass into the front court. Saunders chases it down, tries to throw it out off Anderson, but can't, and it'll stay with the armor. 11.6 seconds left in the third quarter. Springfield can hold for the last shot. They're on top, 88-83. Anderson to inbound, just a couple steps in from the right corner on the baseline. Bounces it right wing, Wyatt. He's got 17, backs it out, eight seconds in the quarter. Wyatt, eyes his dodge box, four seconds, once isolation, two seconds, steps up, left wing for three. No off the iron, no good, and that'll do it for the third quarter. Springfield 88, Delaware 83. 
the conclusion of the fourth quarter after this on the Seventh Radio Network. Welcome back inside the Bob Carpenter Center. Springfield on top of Delaware, 88-83, with 12 minutes up on the clock for the fourth quarter. The team set out onto the floor. Delaware sends out Elijah Pittman, Rodney Williams, Damian Saunders, Michael Lee, and Norvell Pell. For Springfield, it's Lorenzo Brown, Lance Hurdle, Devin Ebank, Jeff Foote, and Felice Wyatt. Delaware ball attacking at the left end. Saunders has it out top. Dribbling with a left. Driving down to the left side. Kicks it out top for Lee. On to the right wing, Williams. Steps toward the baseline. Has the ball poked away. Whistle and a foul. That'll go on Khalid Wyatt. That's two on Wyatt. Rodney Williams has 19 points tonight. He's had a strong performance. He'll end down to the far side. Williams. Gets it into Saunders on the right wing. Dribbling out top. Puts two defenders. Dish it down low. Pell. One dribble. Turn around. Pass off Saunders out of bounds. And Saunders wasn't expecting that speed and fell. Gave it to him anyway, not realizing he wasn't ready for it. And that was a turnover for Delaware. Wyatt the other way. Finds Ebanks out top. Hands off for Brown. Drives to the free throw line. Step around. Gets it down low for foot block for the foul. And that one will go on Damian Saunders. That's his second. Foot goes to the free throw line. 51% free throw shooter and right around that mark tonight, three for six. Puts up the first and rims around and out. One more to come for foot. His armor up by five with 11.24 left in the fourth quarter. Foot puts up the second off the front rim, rebounded by Saunders. Lee in transition to the left end. Damian bounces for Lee who throws it down with two hands. 88-85, the armor on top of seven. 11-14 left in the fourth quarter. Out top, Brown, pump fake. Drives, now backs it out, kicks it over to Ebank, pump fake from him. Swings to Brown on the right wing. Now out top, dribbles to his legs, down to his right baseline. Ebank, just inside the arc in the corner. Five to shoot, backing down Lee. Beat away Jay from 15, no. Picking the rebound for Delaware. He carries forward, swings to the left side for Saunders. Pulls up for a left wing triple, yes sir! 88 all, 10.45 left here in the fourth quarter. Quickly the other way, Brown. Swings it out top, Wyatt on the left side. Back over to Brown, bounces right baseline, Ebank. 
One dribble, kick out, Wyatt for three. Rims out, rebound by Norval Powell, who's got 15 points. They go with five boards. He beats Saunders in the front court. Kick out right side, Rodney Williams, lost it down low. Lee leaves it up and in. Michael Lee has 10. 90 to 88, the Delaware lead. 10 15 left, fourth quarter. Lorenzo Brown the other way on the left wing inside the arc. Bring the pass out, top hurdle, back to Brown on the left side in the corner. Anderson was three, got it. Actually, Ebanks, 91 90, the armor lead. 10 minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Lee, high left side, guarded by Ebanks. Dribbling with a right. Overhand and kick pass, right side Williams in the right corner. Pittman for three. Off the rim, rattles around and down. Elijah Pittman gets the roll. He's got 10. Actually 13. Delaware up 93-91. The other way. Foot backing down Pell. Way up, no good, but a whistle and a foul. Norvell Pell doesn't know what he did. He's going the whistle. But that's four on Pell with 931 left to play in the fourth quarter. Delaware's lead is 93-91. Foot goes to the line. Field tonight, but three for each in the strike as well. First free throw rattles around and down. Tiny Gallon checks into the game for Delaware. Taking the spot of Norval Pell. So Gallon is back for 10 plus minutes with five fouls. Checks back in. 9.31 to go. And Norval Pell sits with four. Second free throw good. And it is 93 all. Delaware ball on the left end. Rodney Williams has it high right side. Overhanded out top to Saunders. Back to Williams, the baseline. With the pass down low, Lee. One dribble, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound underneath his handles. By Adonis Thomas, pushes ahead to Hurdle. Pulls up for a left wing, two. No good, short, long rebound, tip. Pittman corrals it for Delaware. Dribbles around Brown in the front court. Bounces left corner, Saunders fires a three, yes! 96-93, Delaware leads, nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. And after Dante DiCumpo will check into the next stopping. Lorenzo Brown directing traffic out top. On to the right wing, drives the baseline, gets underneath. Wraps the pass around, it's cycled to Ebanks on the right wing. Drives in the lane, ball tipped, poked by Lee, foot chases it down the corner, five to two. Into the right corner, Ebanks for three. No good, hit back, no. Brown gets the rebound, puts it up and in. Thomas missed the first follow, Brown got the second. 96-95, Delaware, eight and a half to play. Pittman out top onto the right wing, Williams drives, right baseline, a floater off balance, no. And Foot gets the rebound, finds Brown into the front court. Brown, down to the left side, Thomas spins, puts it up with the right, connect. 97-96, the armor lead, 8-13 to play, fourth quarter. Pittman to the front court, high right side. Crossover around Brown, drives down low, puts up an off balance shot, yes. 98-97, Delaware leads. Pittman has 15 points. Eight minutes to play. Springfield to the right end, Lorenzo Brown out top. He's got 15 points and five and six. That's that look in his eyes. He drives on lead, kicks him all the way. A floater, yes, from the left side. 99-98, Springfield, 7.45 to go in the fourth quarter. Rodney Williams takes it to the left end. Out top to Lee on the left wing. Saunders. Puts up a three, off the mark. Williams on the follow, no, whistle and a foul. And that one goes on Rodney Williams. An offensive foul on the follow, but only in second. And now Andre DeCupo checks in, and he'll take the spot of Michael Lee. 734 left in the fourth quarter. Lee checks out with 10 points. Andre DeCupo in with 14 points, nine rebounds, made a fifth. He's got a legit shot at a triple double tonight. 733 left to play. Lorenzo Brown carries forward on the right side. Dribbles through his legs out top. Bounces to the back. Inside the arc on the right. Marked by Williams. About 20 feet away. Kicks it out to Brown on the left side. Thomas into the left corner. Hurdle gets it down low. Foot. Kick out top. Brown. An open triple. High arcing. It rattles around and out. Rebounded underneath by Rodney Williams. That's his first board to go with 19 points. So carry forward. Williams on the high right side. Out top to Gallon. On the left wing. Saunders into the corner. Pittman. Pump big step back, long two, no good, rebound underneath by foot. He finds Brown who runs to the right end. Leaves it off, now gets it back, Brown. Bounces down low, foot. 
Head fake, kick out, Brown on the left side finds Thomas for three. Yes! Nothing but net for Thomas. 102-98 Springfield. 640 to play in the fourth quarter. Back the other way, Saunders has it out top. On to the right wing, Ferrante de Cupo. Skip pass, Saunders, left wing. Fakes the pass, steps inside the arc, bounces left baseline, Pittman. Dishes underneath for Gallon, corrals it up with the right and in. 102 to 100, Tiny Gallon has 10. With 620 left, driving all the way to Brown, leads it in and a foul. Lorenzo Brown gets contact down low. 104 100 Springfield, and that foul goes on Damian Saunders, that's his third. And Brown will go to the line for one more. Lorenzo Brown at the strike. Puts it up. Hit. So 5 100. Springfield on top. 15 left in the fourth quarter. Saunders leads on to Kipo on the left. Back to Saunders, right there, towards the corner. Williams gets it up to Gallon inside the arc. Pump big, driving, has the ball poked away, gets it back underneath. Turn around, goes up with the right and hits. I don't know how, but it did. 105, 102, 559 left, Delaware trailing. Brown quickly the other way. He's off Ebank, puts up a three, bangs it home. 108, 102, the Armour with a lead. 550 left in the fourth quarter. Saunders carrying forward for Delaware. Swings left wing Pittman. And he has it poked away, chases it down. Looking for some help. Finds Williams in the right wing. Rodney jabs to the right step. Kicks it around to Pittman. Left wing for three. Off the mark. Hits underneath by foot. And it's batted out where Ebank takes it to the right end. Bounces to Brown. Drives. Goes up in traffic. Lays it up and in. Somehow over Saunders and Williams. He laid that one in. The armor up by eight. 110 to 102, 517 left to play. Brown has 22 points against his former team. Pass nearly stolen by Thomas. Instead, it's Andre de Cupo, a left wing two. Too strong, foot the rebound. He finds Brown going the other way in transition. Brown drives all the way himself, lays it up and in. 112, 102. The armor on top of the sevens. Timeout by Delaware with 5.01 left in the fourth quarter. And that will be a full timeout. We're back after this in the Sevens Radio Network. Welcome back inside the Bob Carpenter Center. 5.01 to play. Delaware trailing Springfield, 112-102. Sevens ball, Saunders has it out top. 
Carries into the front court. On the left wing has the ball tipped, gets it back. Downs his left baseline, Gallon. Drives, a righty floater off the mark, rebound underneath by Thomas. Pushes it ahead to Brown, bounces onto the right wing, Ebanks. Thought about the three, instead kicks it out to Brown out top, resets the offense. 4.38 to play. Armour on top by 10, Sevens needs some stops. Onto the right wing, Ebanks loses it out of bounds, back to Delaware. And there's the first stop. Saunders to inbound, finds Ante to Kumpo. He's got 14 points, nine rebounds and two assists. Threatening a triple-double. On the high right side now, directs traffic to the left, clearing out some space. Into the corner. Bounces it out for Lee, pulls the trigger on a three, yes! Ante de Kumpo picks up his ninth oh, helper. Lee's got 13 points. 112-105, the armor lead now is seven. 4.08 to play. Brown drives all the way underneath himself, has the pass out to the right side for Thomas. For three, yes! 115-105, the armor lead. Four minutes left to play. Thomas has 17. Williams onto the right side for Gallon. He drives, puts it up off the window, no good. On the follow, Ante de Kumpo can't get it to go. Ball tip, Ebanks finds it. Nearly poked away from him, saves it inbounds. Dribbling now toward the lane, kick out right side, baseline jumper for Thomas off the mark. Rebound tipped, Ante de Kumpo can't corral it. It's Saunders, a lob ahead for Lee. Gets it underneath, circles it into the right corner. Dribbling with a left, now leaves it off for Saunders, out top Gallon. Onto the left side, Williams. Jab step, no look to Gallon out top. Bounces right block, Lee stripped by Brown, loose underneath, and Ebanks got it and found Brown into the front court. Lorenzo Brown has 24 points and eight assists against his old team. 115-105, the armor lead. As Brown finds Ebanks in the right wing, down low to foot, marked by Gallon, eight to shoot. Foot holding off his hip, pass into the far corner, cycled around to Thomas, drives, a floater with a right, no good, rebound underneath by Gallon. And he hands off to Saunders into the front court. Saunders spins to the free throw line, bounces right corner, Williams for three, yes! Rodney Williams has 22. 115-108, the armor lead, 240 to play in the fourth quarter. Sevens trying to turn things on late and come from behind to win it. 233 to play is Brown, dribbles inside the arc, loses it, whistle, and a foul called on Brown, the offensive foul. And that is the first on Brown. Brings us to a media timeout. 115 to 108, the armor on top of the Sevens. 229 to play, the conclusion after this on the Sevens Radio Network. Why can't I hear? Check, 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 check. Check, check, there we go. 10, thanks. Also, Zachary, 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 Z
Welcome back inside the Bob Gardner Center. 2.29 to play. Springfield on top of Delaware, 105-108. Sevens ball at the left end. Ante DeCubo has a pass tipped by Massey and stolen away. An untimely turnover by the Sevens, and Massey now takes it to the right end. Dribbling between the circles. Shot clock and game clock, the friend of the armor. They'll run some time down. Massey dribbles to the left side. Hands off for Brown. Drives down low. Dishes right corner. Ebanks for three. Yes! 118 to 108 with two minutes to play. Saunders the other way. Bounces into the lane. Lee corrals it in traffic. Pivots, bumped, whistle, jump ball. Big jump ball, the left free throw line. Delaware needing it. And Lee, the big edge over Massey in size. About four inches. Ball in the air. Lee tips it out. Still up in the air, another tip this time onto the Kumpo, able to get it. Swings a pass, left side, Saunders. Gets it down low, Gallon into the lane. A righty hook, rims out. Rebound by Yee Banks. 118 to 108, the Armour lead with minute 35 left in the fourth quarter, and Lorenzo Brown takes it to the right end. Brown, lefty handle, crosses it out toward midcourt. Seven to shoot, pulls up for a long two, yes! Over Gallon, 120 to 108. Lorenzo Brown has 26 points and nine assists. Ante DeCumpo the other way, into the right corner. Dribbling in traffic, bounces to Lee. Pump fake, one dribble, dishes, Williams, a two-hand throw down out of nowhere! 120 to 110, with a minute 10 to play. Rodney Williams is tied his season high with 24. The armor the other way. Massey on the right wing, guarded by Lee. Flips the pass over to the right side for Ebanks. Pivots, marked by Saunders, under a minute to play. Long pass, left corner. Thomas triggers a three, splash. 123 to 110, the armor lead. 50 seconds left to play. Ante DeCumpo the other way. Out top, Gallon. Into the lane, step back, jumper from the left, yes. 123 to 112, the armor on top. 40 seconds left to play. And Lorenzo Brown carries into the front court. Backs it out now. 30 on the game clock, 12 on the shot clock. Brown around a screen, a whistle, and a foul. And that'll do it for Tiny Gallon as he's fouled out of the game with 12 points and four rebounds. And Pittman into the game for Gallon. The armor in the bonus, so free throws coming. Lorenzo Brown at the stripe of the right end. Brown has 26. Substitutions now the other way. Lance Hurdle checking in, Adonis Thomas checking out. Brown at the free throw line. And puts up the first and hits. Lorenzo Brown has 27 points. And one more free throw to come. Second free throw is good. Lorenzo Brown ties the season high. He scored 28 three times, one with the sevens, and now two with the armor. 25 seconds left to play. It's 125 to 112. Andre DeCupo drives, dishes, and a two-hand slam for Rodney Williams. He's got a season high, 26. 18 seconds left to play. And going the other way for Springfield, Brown just circles it out and that'll do it. Gives it up to Ebanks out top and the armor will hold on for the 125 to 114 win. Five seconds left, now four ticking away. Lorenzo Brown scores 28 in his return and the armor get the 125 to 114 win over the 87er. Big performances for a few sevens here tonight, but not big enough to get the win as the armor were able to hold on late and pull it out. So Delaware Falls, 125-114 the final score. And the Sevens dropped to 12 and 37 on the year. The Armor improved to 21 and 28. These two teams will meet again tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. And you can catch that game at youtube.com backslash NBA D League.